Good, ev good evening. I always do that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Richland Center. It's the 60th annual Richland Center Wrestling Invitational, and I believe we have something like 17 teams or whatever uh, that are here today, this morning. It's, uh, well, starting right around the 930, a little past that, with the seating meeting being just a touch later than usual. My name is Ken Manning in Western Wisconsin Video Production. With me today, two really excellent and great friends, Chuck Rasmussen and Kirk Lair, helping us out. And uh, Chuck, we've done this uh, for many years together, and it's always uh, just such a pleasure to have you on board. Well, thank you, Ken. Yeah, it's probably been uh, 16, 17 years that we've been working this. <laughs> I would imagine. And we had uh, and here uh, Kirk Lair officiated many years and now back up yep. with us, so it works out very nice. And, Kirk, uh, we will say nothing but nice things now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, know, you, you can't mess up as bad up here. It's hard oh, yeah. for him to see you up here, too. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, you know, when you think think about this tournament it started in 1962 and here we are again it's been stopped two times once for inclement weather and the other one because of covid that was three years ago and that information comes from our good friend bill twining so uh i, I always enjoyed listening to bill on the radio and he gives some great information along the way well guys uh for the most part i'm gonna have you guys take care of uh, mass one two and three and i'll kind of take care of Matt four as uh, we get things going here, but Kirk, uh, you were in the meeting, and uh, how many uh, matches are we having this first round? Well, I'm going to defer that to Chuck because he's he's the school teacher. He's better at it. Oh, there than you I go. Am. Okay. Well, I didn't bring my slide ruler today. But, um, <laughs> according to a quick count here, um, I think we're going to have 46 matches this first round, and I'm not quite sure. And we're underway over here on mat number one. And um, that would be Westby against um, Westica Ithan. Ithaca Weston, yep. West and Ithaca? Yep. <laughs> Something like that. All right, yeah. Kylie Klum from Westby and Carrick Thompson from Weston Ithaca. That's on Matt 1. Matt 2, we got Kaylee Ollendike from Toma. He takes on Caprine Klein from Cashton. Right. Then on Matt 3, we have Calvin Marks from Hillsboro. He takes on Kale Pollock from Toma. I think that's how you say that, don't you? I'll go with that. That All sounds right. good to me. You were the English major. So. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then on Matt four, we have Aiden Weigel. He's taking on Declan Lambert from Cochrane Fountain City. So we are underway, and we have actions, and we have scores. All right, on Matt final. number one. Yeah, we have a, a match uh, done, and it's going to be Carrick Thompson from Western Ithaca with a fall in 45 seconds over our Kylie Klum. Top seed at 106 pounds goes to Colton Koss of GET and Terry Sig. Is it Sig from Riverdale? S-A-G-E, so. And was you, were you talking at uh, 106 there? Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. And on mat number two, they don't have the clock running here. Yeah, it looks like that. It's look like maybe they're just doing it on the computer. Okay. Sometimes the computer and the um, stand don't communicate <laughs> like they should. They don't want to sync up like you hope. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Take a look at uh, mat number four here. We have no score as well, and they are in the second period. I think we might have that issue on two matches because yeah. uh, mat number three, they don't have a score up either. Two wrestlers from Toma out there right now on mats two and three. Ken said this is the 60th annual tournament. And he mentioned what the two times they didn't have it, and one of those was really a heartfelt for me because that was my last year officiating. That's and I was right. supposed to do my big retirement thing and <laughs> everything at the tournament there, and they <laughs> canceled it on me two days before. Oh, my. There's a fall down there on mat number four. That yeah. would be the young man from so CFC is Belmont uh, Platteville got beat. Yep. So okay. CFC won that. That would be Declan Lambert. That would have been at 113. At 113 pounds, uh, top seed goes to trainer Curtin from Reedsburg. He's a junior with a record of 15 and 0. And second seed goes to Coda Perney from GET sophomore, the record of 8 and 1. On mat number one, we're at 120 pounds now. This is where you get into your habit of being a big, good paper flipper. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. 
Yep, so we were already up to 120. At least that clock's running. Yeah. And, and I, I was thinking now, eventually, they'll hopefully they'll put the weight classes on the top like they do on mat one uh, with your triangular scoreboard there. Mm -hmm. They'd have to get it running first. Yeah. That's There you go. <laughs> That little glitch. Well, you know, there and we I have was him down there. That we got to go to Chuck. Yes. All right. And there's a fall on mat number one, and that was the Holman wrestler, I believe. Is that right? Yep. 120 there, yep. Okay, that would have been Caleb Rundy then from Holman with a fall over Noah Klum. Now, Kirk Holman actually has a full team, in, or is it just – Second they, team, or what? Do they their, have their varsity here? No, this is their, they call it their uh, varsity reserve Reserves. right in okay. the program and everything. So okay. Uh, this isn't their true varsity. No. Uh, okay. But it is, you know, some of these bigger schools, and we've seen that many times in the past, you know, they, unlike some schools, they'll have two or three teams. And yep. so it's kind of nice for them to come to some of these tournaments here yeah, and, yeah, and help fill in action. the levels. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as you said, fill them in. We've got every weight class today has. Uh, well, all right, we'll go to the quiz part. <laughs> all right, which which weight class has the lowest number of participants? Oh, oh I don't. I remember they I said one only had nine, but I can't. It was right in the middle there somewhere too. Wasn't it was. One forty-four. Really? Seriously? Wow. wow. Seriously. And that's the new weight class. Yeah. yeah. As we talked earlier, Ken and I, and, and even I'm sure Chuck's aware, that this is probably the first time ever that we've had a weight class called 144. It was been 145 probably since the first god stepped on the mat. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Ken Thede said today that the, uh, um, actually the longest one that uninterrupted weight-wise was not 145, which I always thought it was. I also, did too, yeah. Really? But he said it was 138. And oh, he, really? he got that from the Encyclopedia of Wrestling from Gary Gutman. Well, there oh, you, okay. that would do it right yeah. there. <laughs> I do want to mention down on mat number four, we do have an Ithaca, wrestling, Ithaca Western wrestler wrestling. That would be at 120. That would be Blake Bingham. He takes on Brady Burmeister from River Ridge. And right now he is leading 6-2 to two in that match. Burmeister coming in as a senior at 1-5. and five, And Bingham, only a freshman, 6-2. and two, So a nice record for the freshman. We got a fall on mat number one. That was um, Lucas Christensen from Iowa Grant getting the fall over Colton Isley, I believe that is, from Belmont Platteville at 120. 20. Yeah, I was talking with a couple of people uh, here from Russian Center earlier uh, when I got when I got here, and they said, "Yeah, we're having trouble with uh, track wrestling right away as far as getting things synced up," uh, and so that apparently. That problem has just not been solved. It definitely is on these two scoring clocks. Actually, all three scoring clocks. Chuck's the only fortunate one down there with Matt one that's yeah. actually working. Well, yeah. that one's on Matt number one. We're going to 132 pounds there. I think, are we still at 106 here on Matt two? Mm, yes. It looks like it. Yeah. Yes, we still are. I thought We're so. 113 at on Matt number three. And just uh, for folks, as you're watching with the stream, uh, mats one and two are the upper half, three and four. So you go one, two from left to right, and three, four left to right. On mat number one, it's uh, Drew Sander from Boscobel and Owen Bedward from River Ridge. Yep. I'm step back here just a little bit then, too. Olden Dyke is winning on mat number two, five to zero in that match against um, Capreen Klein from Cashton for our Cashton fans. Top two seeds at 120 pounds. Top seed goes to Ethan Haiti from Richmond Center. He's at 13 and two. He is a junior. Second seed goes to Dakota Brewer from Riverdale, a freshman at 12 and 0. And at 126 pounds, Jaden Greyer from Westby, sophomore at seven and two is the top seed. Second seed goes to Noah Miller from Reedsburg. He's a senior at six and three. Bingham doing a nice job down on your mat there, Ken. Right now he's leading 10 to three. And he's going to do more than that, isn't he? Yes, he just picked up the fall on a, looked like he might have had an arm bar and a wrist and made the turn. Coming up with that win. We're moving along quickly, which we expected that would be the case. Young man from Toma winning there on mat number three. And that's at 113 with a 14-0 score now. <laughs> he's real close to getting a tech fall. He's in the... Early mid part of the third period. 
It's nice that we uh, at least have the track wrestling on your computer here, Kirk. Thanks for bringing that up so we can at least stay a little bit more abreast of things. So. Well, it, it helps since we don't have um, visual score clocks. Right. <laughs> you know, down there on mat number four, I guess they haven't brought up that mat yet. It's going to be Be yeah. Belmont Platteville and looks like uh, River Valley coming Chuck, out. Chuck definitely has the quick mat down there on one. Yeah. He's like on his fifth one now. Yeah. yeah. Owen, uh, Drew Sander from Bosco Bell comes up with a pin in a minute and 30 seconds over Owen Bedward from River Ridge. And that was at 132 pounds. On mat three here, Kirk, I got to ask, is this Marks and Pollock? It still is. Yep. Okay. He's trying to get that tech fall, but he hasn't got it yet. It's 14-0. And then on our mat number two, it's still 7-0 in favor of Olendike over Klein from Cashton. That's close to a fall there, too, but there's um, 30 seconds left in that match. Yours is winding down. There's only 14. There's a fall, though. That's finally a fall at 106. And that would have been Olendike from Toma winning that in a fall. And another final on yours, too, Ken. Well, they uh, actually just tried to resync the com the computer and the scoreboard. They turned everything off, and then they just re-kicked it back on. And uh, Mike Nicolotti patiently waiting to see if he can get the go-ahead here to get out there on the mat with his two wrestlers. Otomo won two matches in a row, though. Those were right from the beginning. One was by a fall, and the other one was a 14-0 match at 113 for Pollock. I'm, ass I'm assuming that on mat four, uh, it looks like it might be Garo, uh, or I'm not sure how they would say that one from River Valley, Max Garox maybe, or Garox, and uh, Jonathan Harms. It must be, like you say, syncing them up, because right now in track wrestling, they're not showing anything, so uh -huh. I can't help you out there. So we're gonna, okay. just going to... We're just going to let Chuck carry the load right now. Uh. We'll, go, we'll go get a cup of coffee and come back in a little while. Yep, that All right. good to me. <laughs> All right. At 138 pounds on mat number one, it's Titan Mickelson, G-E-T, and he's got his opponent, Kale Koenig, on his back, and there will be a fall for Mickelson in the time of 53 seconds at 138 pounds. Back real quickly here to 132 pounds. Top seed goes to Hunter Stevens, a sophomore from Iowa Grand Highland, with a record of 10 and 0. And second seed is Brody Meese from Riverdale. Meese is a sophomore also with a record of 11 and 1. At 138 pounds, top seed goes to Dylan Weigel from Belmont Platteville. He is a sophomore with 9 and 2 record. Elliot Biba from Iowa Grand Highland is the second seed. He is a senior at 1 and 0. Oh. Well, we got a quick chance here with uh, some of these masks being down. I'm going to just give a quick shout out to some of our sponsors with just a quick mention right here in Richland Center. Thanks to all the fine folks, Advanced Pump and Well Solutions, Larry and Shelley Ferguson, Ash Creek Plumbing, Heating, and Electric. Of course, that is uh, Dale Wallace. Badgerland Flooring out there on Highway 14. Thanks to Jamie and Amy Gander. Capital Wealth Advisory and uh, Mick Cosgrove, also the Cashton Wrestling Club. And uh, the Brenninger family, how about that? Century 21 helping us out here. Tell you what, uh, the great uh, supporters of high school wrestling. And they have been, uh, so many of these have been sponsors, Chuck, for the last, uh, like you said, number of years, whether it's 15 to 17 years that we've been doing this. Uh, I can't thank all of them enough. All right, on Matt, number one, we've got Sean Duffy from Riverdale. At 138 pounds, a senior with a record of 10 and 2, and his opponent is Camden Thiel from Holman, a junior at 0 and 3. It's 2 0, now 2 1 as they come back to the center. And Duffy lets his opponent up. Remember Seven. a few years ago when uh, track wrestling, uh, unfortunately, oh. they had their, uh, their main system go down, and uh, boy, people went to the <laughs> pencil and paper like the old days and uh, able to keep the tournament going and I know track wrestling they just do a tremendous job and we thank them for uh, all that they've been able to do here and you know interestingly enough I think it's been sold a couple of times but uh, they're still trying to do that quality job and this is just unfortunate and you know sometimes again with technology that'll happen yeah they said it went down what three weeks ago yeah on a Saturday also yep yep when it's 
Well, we are up and running on mat three here, Kirk. How about that? Well, that appears to be at 120, and that would be Brody Bancy taking on R R Rodolfo Espinoza at 120. Yep. And he's got a quick, uh, Bro Brody has a quick 4 0 read there. The freshman taking on the freshman from River Valley. At the end of the first period, at 138 pounds, Sean Duffy from Riverdale with a 4 2 advantage for Camden Theo from Holman. They do have the clock going there on mat number three. And they look like they're going to start at 126 down there on mat number four. So they're getting it going. Yep. That is going to be uh, from Belmont Platteville. Looks like that is going to, let's see, yes, Belmont Platteville at 126. Let me check that real quick. That is Harms along with Garo uh, Garox or Garox. I'm not sure which way they want to say that. And it might not even be that. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were doing a fine job, so go with that. <laughs> say it with confidence. There you go. He's supposed to be the spring green guy over here. Although it was many, many years, moons ago, but it I, was still many, put, many, I still put I still put the wholeness on him. It He's still alumnus, years. you know, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we had a class reunion just recently. That's true. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. We had a really, really nice turnout. I believe that we had 185 in our graduating class, the largest graduating class from River Valley yet. Wow. Ever, and we had, I, I believe, like 87 of our group returned. And Arms uh, wins down there in a the fall, that's, right, Ken? That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, and on yes. the unfortunate side, I think we've lost 29 already. Is that right? So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Harms does pick up the win for Belmont Platteville. The freshman at 0-3 picks up the victory. He'll move on and face the number two seed in Noah Miller of Reesburg in the quarterfinals. This the preliminary round. Duffy looking good. He's up with a score of 9 to 2, 42 seconds remaining in the second period at 138. We're going to move to 132 pounds on mat number four. That is a lower right corner of your screen. And uh, that's Belmont Platteville that's patiently waiting for his opponent, Austin Cushman. Two and three, a senior, going to take on Joe Lucas. And uh, again, help me out now, guys. It's w E S West. Is it, it's, is it going to be Westby? Yep. So sometimes they do W Y B. So I was like, uh, I'm what sure. are they doing here? I think they're the only. See, they're making it easy for you. They, You're I trying know. to and make I, it hard. And I'm making and it hard. Did somebody uh, did somebody teach and work at the Westby <laughs> School District for I a while? I can't. Are oh, you sure? In, Boy, in, in this I broadcast have, group, I have you no would think idea. that he'd know all these names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see what happens over there on Matt four uh, as uh, they go in. Joel, well, I do know the Lucas family, so I should have I should have probably caught that. Uh, but uh, Joel's coming out here three and three. He's going to give up an early takedown and now trying to fight off a half Nelson. But boy, going right after it here is Cushman, and he is very close to the pin. He's, he came back late for the football season because he was. Um, Fulfilling some of his military obligations, and the young man is going oh. to go into the service after wow. he gets done here. Nice young fellow. Picks up a 24-second pin here, and uh, he'll move on to the quarterfinals, and he will uh, wrestle a very tough opponent in the quarterfinals in Brody Meese from Riverdale. That'll be a great match. Early highlight there, um, Chuck and I saw that in the CD meeting. That could be the weight class today because uh -huh. you have Hunter Stevens up top and Brody Meese in the bottom. So Yeah. If everything goes according to Hoyle, we'll see those two gentlemen in the finals. That'll there's, be quite a final. You know, there's a, in my opinion, there's pretty much every weight class today has got three or four that, depending on how things fall, could be the champion here today, too. Yeah. There's uh, some pretty yeah. deep, pretty talented weight classes. And, uh, uh, which has a big effect on teams. Yep. Yes. We do have a Matt 2 going now. That's Austin Gray from Toma at 120. He's taking on Lo Logan Kayeski, or Gaius from yep. Hillsboro. There's a Gaieski in Westby. I know that one. All right, there you go. 14-3, <laughs> Duffy with the advantage over Thiel as they go out of bounds with a minute 19 showing on the clock in the third period. Now Ken's underway down there at yeah. 138 on mat number four, and that's Andres. Oh, boy, how I get myself in these Gabaza? Gabaza, it sounds Against good. Against Derek Franzen from Ithaca Weston. So we have another Ithaca Weston wrestler going on down yep. there 
And he's got an early 2-0 lead. Now it's 4-1. I don't know how that would be with the, oh, it must be second period then. Oh, it's first period. Yeah, first period, yeah. yeah. How, how's Franz in the head with the other kid on top? I am not sure. Unless he's well, just trying to come. It's 4-3 now. Okay, the computer has caught it. It's 4-3 on the scoreboard. That would make sense. But anyway, um, Franz in right now with the early lead. Again, this the prelim round. We'll move into right away into the quarterfinals. Uh, guys, interestingly enough here, one of the rule changes uh, that the National High School Federation made with uh, for wrestling is no longer a 45-minute rest. Yep, they brought it down to 30 minutes this year. It was more to coincide with um, some of the summer tournaments and, and action like that. And I think a good move. Most, oh, yeah, most yeah. cases it really doesn't come no. into play. but in Kids some are cases, ready to go. Yep, kids are ready to go. Here on mat number two at 120 pounds, Austin Gray from Toma is leading by a score of eight to two over Logan Gajeski. That's what he's saying. Right. Gajeski. Now, now it goes okay. to ten to two. My right. computer isn't catching up as fast as um, as the scoreboard is, but whatever. Franzen has us the athletes. <laughs> Franzen has a lead of 6-3, and he will have his choice in this second period, and he opts to go down after Kabaz uh, decides to defer. Yeah, Tuffy wins by a score of 16-4. 16-4 it was. Mm -hmm. Good job, Chuck. On mat uh, number three here, Kirk, I'm got, I have to flip back. but That's, that's um, Brody Banzi from GET Men. Now men went in there. 10 to 2 right now. Okay. That's been going on for a little while now. It has been. It, it feels like it. They're down to 30 seconds, though. Gray from Toma with a fall in the second period at the time of 345. Back to, that's at back 120. to 120. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just about done with 120. This mat on mat number 3 will finish up that weight class. Franzen now has an 8-3 lead. He's going to pick up a few more points, it looks like, as he has his opponent on his back and looking for the pin. Got a lot of time left here, just over a minute to go in that second period. Down there on mat number one, we have Evan Johnson from Toma taking on Cameron Hogan. There's a name that has, uh, well, that says Boscobel, though. Yes, Boscobel. It is student. Boscobel, yep. Well, Franzen does pick up the pin. He'll get a, a 2.58 pin time. And move on to the quarterfinals. Let's take a real quick peek if we can here. Uh, he is going to be taking on, whoops, 138, excuse Schulte me. Schulte from River Valley. Oh, yeah. Number uh, number two, uh, th excuse me, three seed here. Three seed there, yep. Banzi ended up winning there in the mat number three, right? I believe from you're right. GT. We're bumping all the way up to 157 here. You know, I am Ten just... 10-2 to final in that one. I'm not used to these weight classes here. Yeah, I keep thinking 152, uh, you know, yep. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so at 157 on mat number four, looks like we have uh, River Ridge and Riverdale. I believe that's Joe Childs of River Ridge, a 3-7 and seven sophomore taking on Brandon Meese, a junior, and his record at 4-8. and eight. The winner will take on... The top seed uh, for Mayo Grant in uh, Bussey. Oh, fall down there in your okay. match. Yep. Chuck. Johnson from Toma with the fall. Time of 122 over Hogan from Bosco. You know, I, I did a little uh, study here about three weeks ago or whatever, too, about numbers. I mean, uh -huh. you see, I, I think this is probably up as far as numbers here today. But I, I did a thing as far as uh, the SWC and SWAL, the numbers are way up wow. as a total. There's only one team, uh, and I believe that was basketball, with, and I think they either have 19 or 20 wrestlers this year, and that was the lowest number. Uh, but I think we're up at uh, almost 330 wrestlers. So that number up significantly. So that's, a that's uh, in my mind, a very good thing. That's great to hear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, most of the teams able to fill at least 12 weight classes, and that's a good thing. So. Very good thing. And I think the um, female wrestling 
has um, sparked a array of um, yep. activity and interest in all wrestlers. Yeah, we uh, did a match the other night um, between MFL Marmac and Lancaster, and that, that was uh, pretty cool. We had um, pretty much a full varsity lineup for both teams, and then we actually had seven lady matches. Nice, and, yeah. And they were some good, good matches yeah. there. I, I was ahead of Wisconsin in my estimation as far as ladies wrestling, and then a couple JV matches after that. It was just a fun night. Brandon Meese on Matt Four picks up a pin over Joe Childs of River Ridge. Uh, to win that match, and we'll go to the next one at 157 pounds. And uh, we're going to see a Richmond Center Hornet for the first time. Uh, Bodendine is coming out. Ethan uh, has a record of 9-6, and six, only a sophomore, against Ethan uh, Husselman from Baraboo. He is 1-0, and oh, a freshman. We, awesome. had, we had a fall at 120. That was Gray from Tomo over Kayaski. Uh, at 120, at 138, we had Johnson over Hogan, as Chuck said, with a fall. And then at 150, it was Miller from Riverdale over Davis from Boscobel. That was in a fall. I also tell you that uh, Komarski from Holman with a fall over Bennett from Weston Ithaca at 150 pounds. Okay. Yeah, we're moving through these in a hurry now. Yeah, all of a sudden it's picking up again now. Yeah. That's good. At 144 pounds, Noah Radke from River Valley, a junior with a record of 8-1 and one as the top seed. Jackson Bla Blaken from GET, uh, a senior with a record of 8-1 and one as the second seed there at 144. Yeah, I'm not sure if they say Blocken or Blaken. I've gone both ways on that. Have to, we'll have to talk to Pete about that. If we go both ways, we're bound to get it right. I hope so. And, I know and, it's one of the two. And we apolo or I'll apologize, too. If we uh, mess up on somebody's name, it's not on purpose. It's just a lot of these names are not familiar to me anymore. If you see uh, the, the, in the lower weights with Westby, uh, that is Clum when they come out uh, instead of uh, not Clum. Clum, Clum. Yeah, Clum. Right. Man yeah. number one at 157, we got um, Gabe Friedenlund from Westby. He's Fried Friedenlund? Friedenlund, yeah. Friedenlund. He's taking on Carter Spensley from Belmont Platteville down there at Matt Wan. I tell you what, he can be kind of an exciting wrestler. Watch out for him. Yeah, and <laughs> and uh, should be a good match. Two, we have, yeah. Oh, there's a. Oh, they went out of bounds. Man number two, we got Josiah Klamart, Klamart Rensky, Rensky from Holman Reserves taking on Austin Bennett from Ithaca Weston. That's on mat number two. Then we have mat number three, we have Jonathan Baumeister. He takes on Braden Grant from Westby. So we have two Westby wrestlers out there right now. And then we have the Richmond Center wrestler down there with a 2-0 lead over Ethan Holzman from Baraboo. So we kind of caught up. Yeah, yeah. that's Bowden, Bowden Dean, I, I'm assuming. Bowden Dean, okay, thank I'm, you. I'm assuming, or it could be Bowden Dine, but. Uh, you know, I'm from here, and I don't sure, <laughs> so I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> Oh, we've got to pick on you, too. So. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Now, this I is kind of, shoulders. as we're just looking right now, too, you know, many years, or a few years ago, it seemed like white was a dominant color as far as singles. Dark, 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 yep. and one white right now. Yeah. And they, unfortunately, a lot of them kind of blend in as far as one school versus another. Yeah, we have to keep a pretty good eye on yeah. things. Yeah. Well, Westby's going to pick up a pin here on uh, Matt Threekirk. Yep, that would be Braden Grant, 144-pounder for Westby. If he gets the fall there. And we're he done with 144 now. He will face Noah Radke, the number one seed in the quarterfinals. Something Ooh. to look forward to. <laughs> so now we're blasting by the halfway point, I would think. Isn't 44 still the middle? Uh, yeah. Okay. I believe I believe so. I leave that to the teachers to count. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not bring that slide rule. <laughs> Rishon um, Center at the lead, three to nothing now over here on map four, lower right. A must add up. On oh, on mat number two. Yeah, that's if Austin Bennett from Ithaca Westman. Okay. And he's taking on, says it's a Holman Reserve. Yeah, that's one of yeah. their uniforms, Holman Reserve wrestler. 
He just got another takedown and now leads 10 to three. Ashton Bennett does. Sophomore for it, Ithaca Weston. At 150 pounds, Nolan Owen from Baraboo is the top seed. Sophomore at 13 and 0. And Tyson Imhoff from Iowa Grand Highland, the number two seed, a junior at 9 and 1. Bowden Dines still leading down there on mat number four, Ethan. Score is 3 0 yet. Midway through the, um, or that was the end of the second period. There's a fall down on your mat. Yeah, Fried and Luck. That was a um, young man from Westby, right? Yeah, Fried and Lund. Fried and Lund. Fried and Lund yeah. over Frieden Carter Lund. Spensley from Belmont Platteville. Thanks Time again. of 311. Thanks again to some of those uh, quick sponsors. Uh, we want to mention here the checkered flag in Reesburg, uh, Tim and Brenda. McGillan, we appreciate uh, McMillan. We believe uh, appreciate them. Community First Bank, that's Amy. Coon Valley Telecommunications, Dairyland Transportation, Joe Hall, right here in Richland Center, and uh, Open Season Hunters Outlet. Thanks to Andy and uh, his wife for helping out here. Genuine Telecom as well here in Richland Center. Have another um, Hillsboro wrestler taking the mat here on mat number three. That's Irvin Novacek which is a great Hillsborough name, taken on Eli Kane from Holman. No score yet. Did have another fall there, didn't we? Chuck? That was Bennett from Ithaca Weston with the fall and pin time of two, uh, 357. At 150 150, pounds. yes. Yep. Things getting a little tighter now down there on mat number four as uh, Hustleman of Baraboo is uh, coming back a little bit. He trails by one, 50 seconds to go. He has Bodendine in uh, a cradle now as uh, he trails by one, three, two. Bowden Dean trying to hang on here, break that hold. On mat number one at 165 pounds, I believe that. Hunter yep. Leffler from GET. Yep. And his uh, opponent is Nathan Snodgrass from Holman. That's on mat number one. Senior against a um, junior. Yeah, 165 pounds, no score. Mat number two, we've moved up to um, 157. There's a fall on your mat, right? Or no, or no, just a whistle. They're trying to decide if it's a pin or not. I don't know that it is. They're going to check it out. We have another Ithaca Weston wrestler on mat number two, and that is Nolden Waldner. He takes on um, Nathan Stoppelmore from Cochrane Fountain City and has an early 2 1 lead. He comes in now and looking for some back points is um, Nolan. Bodendine picks up an escape here and leads 4-2, and that's the way it's going to end. 4-2 victory here for Richland Center. At 157. He will uh, move on, and he is going to wrestle Gabe Friedenlund out of Westby, and uh, that's a number four, number five uh, matchup, it looks like. At 157 pounds, Jackson Bussey from Iowa Grand Highland is the top seed, a sophomore at 10 and 0. And number two at 157 is Gunnar Johnson from GET, is a junior at 8 and 1. They continue on at 157. Uh, let's take a look here. Looks like Boscabell stepping out onto the mat. <coughs> and uh, that should be Joe, uh, Job Wetter. 1-0, a sophomore taking on Ty Larson out of River Valley. He is 3-4, and four, a freshman. Waldner picks up a pin for Western Ithaca. The time of 132 at 157 pounds. Talking with Dan Mahakovic uh, out of River Valley, and, uh, you know, they got a lot of freshmen. He's pretty high on those freshmen. They, they uh, can see some really good things coming. They might have some growing pains, so to speak, in the first year. Maybe two, but uh, boy, if they can keep that crew together, watch out for River Valley again. Yeah, and I'll, you know, I'll second that too as far as, you know, I did that study about 330 kids as far as in the SWC, SWAL. I believe there's only 55 seniors. Wow. So that's a lot of yeah. underclassmen. I know yeah. Lancaster, for example, has 16 freshmen. My goodness. In their, uh, their squad this year, so. We had a fall there in mat number three, didn't we? But I didn't catch it. Who won that one? I believe it was the young man from Holman that won it. Yeah, I didn't catch that one either. 
But I think, uh, West, uh, I see they got a W slash IT this year. So is it, are they trying to go by West and Ithaca this year? I, I'm not aware of that. Uh, you got a final, final down there, right, Chuck, at 165? Yes, it is. It's a young man, uh, 165, Hunter Leffler from GET with the fall in the time of 3.03 over Nathan Snodgrass from Holman. At number three now, we have Braden Peterson from GET Millman. He takes on Hawken Garvin from Toma. And we have another Richland Center wrestler on the mat. On mat number two, that is Mason Jelenic taking the mat against Stevie Meyer, a sophomore from Cochrane Fountain City at 175 pounds. All right, at 165 pounds, top seed is Emerson Moen from Iowa Grand Highland, a senior with a record of nine and one. Braxton Walter from Reedsburg is the number two seed, a junior at 14 and one. Another one of our sponsors here, we've talked about uh, GT Mel Min and uh, the Titan Wrestling Club helping support today's broadcast. Also, Otto Laval, it's Harchi Lumber. Appreciate their terrific support. And the Ithaca Weston Wrestling Club bringing you the action here from the Richland Center Fieldhouse. We also want to say thanks to the Iowa Grant Highland Wrestling Club. Now, there's a pretty solid team once again. And right here in Richland Center, Jones Chevrolet. Appreciate Ryan Jones and family helping us out. On that number one at 175 pounds, it's Alex Trump from Boscobello Sr. His opponent is Emerson La Melby. Yep, there you go. From Holman, a junior. Then I'll bring up Matt number four because these are two Boscobell names we are all very familiar with. But Matt number four, we have Ty Larson from River Valley taking on Jacob Wetter from Boscobell. So that Wetter and Trum name, it's kind of nice to see them come back yep. in the Boscobell lineup. Yeah, generation. That's right. Jelenic's match is now tied up two apiece there on Matt number two. Then in mat number three, a 2-1 score there in favor of Peterson from GET over um, Garvin from Tolman. They Wet move into the second period. Wetter is uh, in great position here to get the pin, and he actually did just now. That'll be a 3:08 uh, pin time for Job Wetter out of Boscobel. He'll move on and face the number one, or excuse me, the number two seed here, Gunnar Johnson out of GT Mel Min. Well, Trump didn't end up... Uh the same uh, situation. He got pinned almost exactly as the, both of the officials slapped the mat. So, wow. uh, the young man from Holman, Emerson Malmelby, he moves on to the quarterfinals. That was at 175, yes. right? Yes. Yep. On map four, we're going to move to a River Valley's Hunter Alt, a junior now at five and six. His opponent will be uh, Chance Johnson out of Boscobel, a sophomore. Coming in with a record of 0 and 6. And on mat number one, Blake Brickle from River Valley. There's another familiar name, <laughs> yes, Brickle hey, Sparrow yep, from yep. River yep. Valley. Sophomore wrestling against Ty, Tyler Brewer from River Ridge. That's on mat number one at 175 pounds. We Where have Hunter that? Alt on the other end of the spectrum there on mat number four. He takes on Ch Chance Johnson from Boscobell. Boscobell's place like Chuck and you, Ken Bull said, it's nice to see Boscobel's numbers back up. You got Lance Winter as the head coach, I believe, in his second year. Oh, here's a nice um, Gramby move by Jelenic. Got, I think he might have got both. Yep, he got the reversal. Oh, he didn't get the near fall, though. So now that's tied up for a piece, the way it looks. There's a fall down there for you, right, Chuck? Uh, yes, and that was going, that was uh, Blake Brickle from River Valley comes up with a fall in 53 seconds over Tyler Brewer from River Ridge. That was at 175. You never get that sound of that slap of the mat out of your head, do you? <laughs> no. You can be looking clear to the other end of the gym and you hear that, it just makes your head turn. You just, yeah, it's automatic, uh, right. yep, yep. Talk about automatic. I'm gonna have you guys look down there to the, uh, the head table real quick. The uh, young photographer from up by the lacrosse area 
Oh, Nate? Does, yeah, does Nate? he have on uh, shorts today or not? Yes or no, without looking. Oh, he no. always does. He okay. does. Or no, he has shorts on. Yes, right, he does. Right. Yeah, yeah. There he is there. right over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You said the head too. I, I wanted you to look that <laughs> and way. Sand, so and sand. <laughs> I was going, he was sitting and over there. And sandals. <laughs> At least he has sandals. Yeah. Usually he's bare, yeah, bare usually feet. he's barefooted. There's yeah. a title down there. <laughs> that was a young man from River Valley. River got Valley. Fall, didn't he? Yes. Uh, Hunter Alt picks up the pin over Chance Johnson. Uh, in, uh, um, let's see, a minute to 23, the pin time. And uh, we'll go to 190 pounds now on mat four. We'll take a look and see. It looks like we're going to have a basketball uh, wrestler coming out here on the map. And we'll give you that name here. It's going to be Cody Gazda taking on Tucker Degenhardt out of Iowa Grant. Degenhardt at four and three, Gazda at 0 oh and two. Mason Jelenic has a nice seven to four lead with a minute 27 to go in his match on mat number two is Ken has a new mat, excuse me, Chuck has a new one coming out on mat number one. Mm -hmm. That's at one, 215 already we're up to there. Yeah, see if I can find it. I'll help you out. Carter Hobbick from Toma takes on Ryan McCoyk from Hillsboro. All right, and as Kurt said, 215 pounds, that's mat number one. Still going on. 175 on mat number three. The lead there in a tight match is Peterson from GT. There's the slap I heard, Ken. Yeah, that's going to be, uh, well, Boscobel, I believe, is going to pick up. Oh, I think it was IG or, got Excuse it. me, I have a grant. I, that's a different, that's a new uniform in, yeah, my, in my mind. It anyways. is, yeah. Okay. I just saw it last week. So I'm oh, did you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was that uh, 190. Deg Deg Degenhart of Iowa Grant picks up a very quick pin over Gazda of Boscobel, and he'll move on to face uh, Jack Schreier out of Cashton. That'll be a number four and number five matchup as far as seeds are concerned. And now at mat four, we're going to go to 215 pounds and uh, coming out onto the mat, another Boscobel wrestler. This is uh, Jaron, uh, I'm going to say Weeki of Boscobel 1-0, and a sophomore, taking on Avery Anusa, Anusa out of right. out of uh, Baraboo. Yep. He is nine and three, and he too is a sophomore. So a, go ahead. Chuck. I was going to say at 175 pounds, top seed goes to Riley Wanick from Riverdale, undefeated senior at 12 and 0. And second seed goes to Caden Davis from Belmont Platteville, a junior at seven and four. And at 190 pounds, Caden Rennish from Riverdale, senior with a second 10 and two record, is the top seed. Second seed goes to Cole Brenninger. From Richmond Center, the senior at 12 and 3. Thanks to Laval Telephone Cooperative helping us out here today with the broadcast. Also, Napa right here in Richmond Center as you travel around the corner, around the bend, I always say, in Highway 14 heading east. And many old dairy farms appreciate uh, their support. And O'Reilly Auto Parts, where you're going to find, well, quality parts, quality people. That's O'Reilly Auto Parts right here in Richmond Center. and at a dozen other stores as well. Two finals at 175 for this round. Mason Jelenic ends with a nine to four decision over Meyer of CFC and Peterson from GET ends up with a pin over Hawk and Garvin at 175. Just about done with that weight class. Uh huh. And then at the other end there was Boscobel was the winner down there. That was at 215, 215. wasn't it? Yeah. That was, um, Young man we, from, Weeki from yes. Basketball picked yep. up the win. Picked right. up the fall. He did. That was uh, that would be a, according to the records, that'd be a big upset. Because Hanusa was nine and three. Yep. Pretty sure that's how it went. Okay. McCoy from Hillsboro up five three going into the second period of 215 pounds wrestling against Carter Hayback from Toma. Well, speaking of 215, we're going to stay there on mat number four. And uh, this is going to be a Cashton wrestler. This is Gavin Anderson, going to be of Cashton. He's four and four, a senior, taking on Riverdale's eight and four, Caden uh, Courier. And he is a junior. So let's take a look at that match and see what happens as Riverdale picks up the first takedown. At number three, we have Caden Cast, a freshman. He's got a tall task taking on Gavin Hinderman, the um, junior from Iowa Grant Highland. And he's in a cradle right now and in a lot of trouble. Yeah, stays in good position. That's that's going to be tough to get out of there. 
So that finishes up 175 for us as Gavin Hinderman scores a fall for Iowa Grant. That was a 56 second pin. Then there's a fall down there on your one on Matt Four too. Yeah, that didn't take long. That was a 52 second pin as Courier uh, of uh, Riverdale picks up the victory. And he'll go on and face uh, uh, Bodie Brock up. Uh, or is it Bode? Bode Brock up? Bodie. Bo it is Bodie, I thought so. Uh, Bodie Brock up out of Iowa Grant, the number two seed. I actually talked with uh, Grandma a little bit ago uh, with that, so. Uh, we're at 190 on mat number two. And that's Caden Coleman from Ithaca West, and he's winning in his match four to one over Pierce Conway, a junior from River Valley. That's in the um, end of the first period. Oh, on Matt four, we are moving up to the big guys at 285 pounds. And uh, we have Daniel Bryant of Boscobel, two and four, a freshman. And uh, he's got a tall task here as he's taken on uh, Jaeger Jep Jepson out of Holman, four and two, a sophomore, and there's a little bit of a size difference there, guys. <laughs> As you can get when you get to 215. Yes. There's quite a, you know, there's a pin there on that's on mat number two. That would be Cannon Coleman coming up with the fall there over Pierce Conway from River Valley at 190. It was interesting that night the other over uh, at MFL Marmac. One of the matches of 190 pounds. It was 5 6 versus 6 6. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the 5 6 wrestler was able to snap the 6 6 down to the mat three times, and the third time, bowled him around. Oh wow. Got, it was That's good. wild. That, yeah, that was fun. So we Thank, have, uh, go ahead. We have at mat number one, we have. Um, Carter Hobbick, he's winning down there nine to five now in the third period. And then we, on mat number three, we have um, Porter Redner from Reedsburg. He takes on Cam Moore from Belmont Platteville and leads two to one. And now you got another 285 down in your end, Ken. And yep. oops, then the computer kicked out. Yep, that, would that is uh, Bryant yep. and Jepson. Good job. Wind it down quick here. It's a chance now as we wind down here a little bit. We haven't talked about um, who's the teams to watch here today. And it, it's kind of obvious to say that the defending champion, Iowa Grant Highland, who has a really nice squad this year, is going to be right up there again defending that title. Yeah. But then also look out for Riverdale. I know um, Chuck has already mentioned and even Ken has. We have a lateral drop over here on mat number four. And I tell you what, he uh, he loaded him up and hit that pretty well. That was Jepson of Holman, and he winds up with the pin over the freshman from Boscobel and Bryant. That was a minute 50. Yeah, I, I, it's fun. It's I, excuse me, Chuck. No, it you're was fine. you're you're right when you talk about the different teams. You know, it's numbers, but it's also some real quality guys out there on the mat. Havik Chuck. from Toma is going to come up with a 15-7 decision in his match at 215 pounds. He will take on Tig Perkins, the top seed at 215 in the next round. I want to say thanks to Phoenix Center right here in Richland Center. Thanks to Amy and the whole crew. Reesburg Wrestling Club bringing you today's action. They have their uh, February 11th and 2024 big tournament coming up. Richland Electric Cooperative supporting the broadcast as well as Richland Grant Telephone out of Blue River, and uh, we can't uh, do these uh, matches, uh, the tournaments, without all of our wonderful sponsors, one of those also being the Richland Center Hospital and Riverdale Wrestling Club. Ken said we weren't going to get any break here, and we're already down on mat number four at 106 pounds already, yep. and that would be Koss from GT taking on Thompson from Ithaca West, and two to one right now in favor of Koss as we finish up the the upper weights on the other three mats. At 215 pounds, we talked about Tig Perkins. He's the top seed at 16 and 0 from Richland Center. He's a senior as Bodie Brock up a junior. Milo Grand Highland is the second seeded at six and five. Koss goes right into a pinning combination. He's got an arm bar and a wrist, and he has uh, put Thompson on his back here. Koss coming in, as uh, Kirk mentioned, the number one seed is a sophomore at seven and two. 
and Thompson, a freshman, at five and make it six and six with his win earlier uh, this morning over Kylie Klum. At 215 pounds, the Mason boys, Mason Helgerson from Holman, wrestling against Mason Mondorano from Belmont Platteville. At 215 pounds on mat number one. Your fall happens at 115 in the first period. Koss moves on to the semifinals. At 190 in our two middle mats. The one in on mat number three, that's Redner from Reedsburg at seven and Moore from Belmont Platteville at seven. So all tied up there.